Hello everyone, welcome to the video walkthrough of the EA release of our internal load balancer of digital version. In this video walkthrough, we are going to look at how to create an internal load balancer and scale your private workloads effectively. What is an internal load balancer? An ILB is a type of a regional load balancer that distributes incoming HTTP or UDP or TCP traffic among the resources within a VPC. Unlike our existing public-facing load balancer, an ILB has only a private IP address. It operates within the internal network and is not exposed to the public internet. It directs traffic only to the instances or services that are accessible via private IP addresses. Before today, DigitalOcean customers had very few options to load balance their private workloads. They have to manage a load balancer themselves by creating a droplet within a VPC and install a proxy software like Nginx or HAProxy to act as load balancer for other droplets in this VPC. This comes with the burden of maintaining an additional component. Alternatively, they can also create a public LBAS and use LB firewall rules to restrict access to the load balancer. This might be a non-starter for some of the customers who don't want a public address for their internal service. Now let's try to walk through how to create an internal load balancer and test it. In order to create an internal load balancer, go to the networking section and click load balancers and click create. Under the load balancer type, you'll have two options, regional and global. Select regional, choose the data center region as you prefer. And there is a network visibility section where you can see option called internal. This will help you create an internal facing load balancer. Rest of this configurations and settings are the same as our external facing HTTP load balancer. Keeping all the other settings as is, again, click create load balancer. For the demo purpose, I have already created one called London One ILB, and you can see I have, I have two droplets behind the ILB. Each of these droplets are hosting a hello service, simple hello service that points to droplet one and droplet two. In order to test it, let's go to a droplet which is in London one because it's regional. I'm going to go to the console of this droplet and try to curl the private IP address of the internal load balancer. So I'm going to copy this 10.106.0.168 and go to the droplet in London one. As you can see, we are getting response from droplet two and droplet one in a round robin fashion. So the ILB is routing the traffic to both of these droplets that's behind it and we are getting the response from them alternatively. Now let's test um, the same internal load balancer using Kubernetes clusters. I have already created a Kubernetes cluster and exposed uh, a simple service using an ILB. If you look this Nginx service YAML file, the only configuration you need to create an internal load balancer for Kubernetes cluster is this annotation. It says DO load balancer network internal. Once this is configured, you can create an internal load balancer. Now, I have already created internal load balancer for the Kubernetes service that I have, and here is the IP address of it. You can see LB demo v2, where you can see this is the ILB's IP address. Now, I'm going to test this by logging into the droplet in the same VPC region that is New York here. If you see this Kubernetes cluster is in New York, I'm going to log into New York droplet and I'm going to do a curl. 
Now, as you can see, I have a small service that says welcome to Pod Network on my Kubernetes cluster. And uh, I can now see the response from that ILB IP. That's it for the demo. Thank you so much for watching this demo. Now go ahead and get started um, in scaling your private workloads by utilizing DigitalOcean's internal load balancer. Thank you.